Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. If you're new here, so welcome. And we have a little guest today too, so don't mind her if she pops her head in this video. But today we are going to go through my cabinet. Finally, I'm going to show you the finished product and I'll take you on a little tour of all the plants I have inside so you can see what I currently have in here in my setup. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used, I will link my previous video that I did up here, as well as have all the product links in the description for you. So yeah, I'm really excited to show off this cabinet finally, and I cannot wait to show you the plants I have in here. So let's go on a little tour. This is the overview of my cabinet. I'm really excited to show you guys finally. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I know I'll be making a lot of changes to these plants in here. Pretty much all of them need to be repotted, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work with these plants, but this is just kind of how it is for now. So I'm happy with it, and I'll probably play around with the arrangement and add more plants and take plants out. So we'll see what I end up doing. I'll do another tour probably in a couple months to show you the progress and the changes and the plant growth and everything. And I have a cute rug. I got this off Amazon. It's a monstera leaf and the cats have already been digging at it so I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do with that. I might have to move it or scoot it under there a bit further. I do want to get a plant up top that doesn't receive a lot of light. I think it's missing a plant up there so I'll have to get something. Maybe a Maranta. Maybe I'll get another Maranta to put up there. And I got these cute frames off Amazon. I'll link those down below as well as the, as the rug if you're interested. And all the products, the handles, every the lights, everything that I used, I'll link below in the description for you. And it's going to be in my previous video as well that I did. So all the product links, if you're curious on how I installed something, I will link that video for you guys. The first thing, these gold handles will open my cabinet. And I'll probably end up turning the fans off for this video so it's not so loud in here. The fans, you can't really hear the fans with the door closed, but I do have it on the lowest setting. I have a fan on that middle layer facing up, and then I have a fan on the lower level kind of facing that way. So I'm going to click these off for the video. All right, so I think I'm going to start with this top shelf here. I just love these plants so much. They're some of my favorite plants in here. I ended up going with the Barina T8 lights, so I have two on that top shelf here. And all of these containers are from Ikea. And I have some additional clips and containers that I'm not using that I'll probably end up propagating with and putting plants in those eventually. And this shelf here is the tallest shelf, so these are where my tall plants currently are. So yeah, let's go through them. First up is this beautiful guy here. This is my Philodendron Splendid. I actually have quite a few Splendids in my collection, but this one, the original plan was to put on a moss pole and it is growing kind of leggy because it doesn't have support. So I think I might have to end up propagating this guy to put on a moss pole and restarting this guy because I think he's gonna be a little leggy to start on a pole with how he's growing. I'm not sure yet, but that was my plan. I got this guy as a three leaf propagation. One of the leaves did yellow off and die after the move here, so I had to get rid of that leaf. I had quite a few yellowing leaves with a lot of plants during the transition from my old house to this house, and this one was one of the ones that yellowed off a leaf, but I love this plant. I cannot wait to get mature leaves on this guy. It is so beautiful. Next up beside him is my Anthurium forgetii. It actually is working on a new growth there. It is loving the humidity and lights. So happy about that. I do need to repot all of my Anthuriums. I just have it kind of top dressed with some moss for now, but I cannot wait to see that leaf. It did have two original leaves that yellowed off and died. So this is the newest leaf it gave me in my care, and that'll be the second leaf in my care. So really excited to see that. Moving along, don't mind the gnat trap. I've had an excess of gnats in my house since the move, but I've treated everything, so hopefully they'll start dying here soon. But this is my Philodendron Glorious. It looks like I have another leaf that might be yellowing a bit since the move. I've had 
a few yellow leaves, so that's not surprising. And I have quite a few leaves on this guy here, and this newest leaf has gotten a bit leggy as well. So I think I might, the plan for this one was to put on a moss pole as well, so I'm definitely going to have to end up propagating this guy to do a moss pole with because he's a little a little leggy for a pole right now. And then beside him is my Alocasia capria. This one had like eight or nine leaves and I'm down to three because this plant has been really sad since the move. I don't really know what's going on with him. He's just not liking the change in environment and he's yellowing a bit so I don't know if this plant is going to survive at all. It has three leaves so we'll see how many more die. The new growth actually just shriveled up and died. I just cut that off actually. So I'm a little sad that this one is not doing well. I was super excited to get this plant in my collection and it was doing so great until I moved and it just seems unhappy now. So I'm not sure what to do with this guy. All right, and let me take a couple of these plants down so you can see the rest of them here on this top layer. So this is my Anthurium clarinervium. It has two leaves. This one is yellowing a bit here, and I'm hoping I get new growth on this plant soon. This is one that definitely needs to be repotted, all of my anthuriums, so I hope I get new growth soon. I definitely need to give my anthuriums some TLC for sure. Back behind that guy, this is my Alocasia phrytic, and I'm going to turn him around so you can see how beautiful this plant is. It has four beautiful big leaves. I just love this plant so much. It is so beautiful, and he is, he is a little squished in this, in this uh, cabinet, so I have to turn him so his leaves don't get squished towards the glass, but I don't know, he may not make, make this cabinet for too long because he's already reaching the top, so we'll see. He's had these four leaves for a bit. I'm hoping I get a new growth soon, but he might end up yellowing one of the leaves off. It looks like this one might be yellowing a bit because this one is tending to keep only four leaves at a time, so we will see with that guy. In the back here, we have my jewel orchid. This is my Macodes petolia. I think that's what that one's called. And it has gotten very leggy. I need to propagate this guy at some point. I was thinking of putting part of this in a terrarium, but I haven't decided yet. But it's definitely leggy, and I need to propagate soon. And moving over is the begonia. I actually, I actually just propagated this guy. Uh, it was really, really leggy, and I cut it all back right there. Is that stem that I cut so I'll show you the cut part I have it on the bottom part of the cabinet but it was just too tall too leggy so I ended up chopping it way back and I'll probably add it into a pot together and move it out of my cabinet once the propagations grow just to fill it out because it was like one vine just super tall and leggy this is my philodendron white night cutting I believe I rooted it myself and it's been potted up for a while it just has not grown so We'll see what it does this year. Hopefully I get some growth on this one. This is my chocolate anthurium. It has given me some new leaves here. It had the brown flowers. It hasn't bloomed in a while, but it's given me lots of new growth. So some of the leaves have died on this one, but I just think it's a cool anthurium. Like I love the shiny new leaves and everything. So definitely one that I probably need to upsize as well. On the back side of this guy is my Burl Marks Fantasy. That's the big original leaf there and it's a little bit leggy. We can see past all the plants. It has like one leaf down there and then it has a couple leaves up top there. This is the biggest growth it has given me here and it's working on another new leaf there. So. We'll see, it's gotten kind of leggy, so I might end up propagating that guy back. We'll see, I'm not sure what my plan is with this plant. And then in these little propagation vessels, they slide out. I have two corms in there, if you can see. They're both Alocasia Silver Dragon corms. Actually, let me take one out and show you. So they are growing quite a bit. I think these have been propagating for um, maybe a couple weeks, but I just put them in my cabinet a few days ago so they are making quite a bit, bit of progress and I see a root on that one already so really excited for that I have two silver dragons they are out of my cabinet and then this one I think is my decursiva I chopped it up and so I have like a bunch of wet sticks in here and this one is some more wet sticks let's see 
I probably should have labeled what this was. I'm actually, I see some fuzzy root there. You see that? I think this might be, gosh, I actually don't remember what this is now. I'm trying to think what I cut up recently and chopped. I'll have to think about that. If I can remember what this is, I'll let you know, but I'm actually not sure. I can't remember what that one is now. And this one is my, I cut up my philodendron campus for Tawanum. So I have some propagating in here, which is rooting already. You can see that. And then I have some in a different spot. And I'm gonna be putting this guy on a moss pole as well. So that is it for that top shelf. I kind of squished everyone back in here. So I'm really excited to get these guys on a pole. I'm really excited to repot my anthuriums and just get these plants looking a lot better. So I'm really excited for the growth. Moving on down to this second shelf, it is still pretty tall shelf wise. So I have a lot of room in here and, I'm, and I probably can add a few more plants on the back. I just haven't haven't put all my plants in here yet, so we'll see, but I really love this combo of plants. It looks really good. I don't even know where to start. Let's start, let's start on the cups here. So this is my Anthurium orquianum. This one hasn't been happy for a while. It's yellowed leaves. This is the newest leaf here, but I don't know. Like I said, I need to repot all of my Anthuriums, so this one probably needs water again. So hopefully I can get my anthuriums happy. Moving down here, this is my Alocasia poly. It has two leaves, two leaves left. It yellowed off one leaf after the move. So we'll see. I definitely need to upsize this guy. This guy is getting very root bound in there. So I'll probably do that soon. And then this guy just woke up from dormancy. This is my Alocasia maharani. This is the newest leaf it just gave me, which is really, really beautiful. I love Alocasias. This guy probably needs an upsize as well because he's been in that pot probably since spring of last year. So I'm probably going to upsize this one. And this is my Amedrium Medium Silver. This one is working on a new leaf since being in the cabinet. And I feel like it's going to be a good size. And this is the newest leaf it just gave me. I don't know what that browning there is from. That was there before I put him in the cabinet. So I'm really excited to see that one grow. This one here is my Anthurium Magnificum. This was a one leaf prop. The original leaf died, so that's the newest leaf it gave me. So again, another Anthurium that needs to be repotted. And I stuck a couple Hoya plants up here just to see how they would respond. And this one here was just this propagation I had for the longest time, and it finally has new growth up top, which is exciting. I really have never kept Hoya plants and high humidity so they seem to be doing well and that one has maybe a little bit of a growth. This is a Hoya Chelsea here and I rooted that and potted that up I think the end of last summer and this one is a Hoya, uh, I forget the name of this one. I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. So these are just two props that I just want to see how they respond to this humidity and stuff in the cabinet. So I'll definitely keep you updated on the progress of those. And I'll start on this side next. This is my philodendron varicosum. This plant has been on a journey with me. It is working on another new leaf there. This guy I've had for such a long time and I've cut him and propagated him before. And he had had, he was plant male that had spider mites. I sold a cutting. I had cuttings that didn't do well. So I'm glad to see him finally growing now. I am going to get him on a moss pole. So hopefully I can do that soon before it gets too leggy. That is my strawberry, philodendron strawberry shake there. This was a single leaf propagation and it's working on another new leaf there. All the new growth has been pretty small, but the variegation is beautiful. So hoping to get some bigger leaves soon on that one. Next up is my Philodendron Gloriosum. I have a video I recently did on this guy. He had root rot a long time ago. I rerooted him in moss and just recently potted him back up. So I hope I can keep him happy and it has a little baby there too. And this is another Anthurium. This is my Anthurium um, Magnificum and this is a Crystallinum, I believe. It's a hybrid of the two. 
and again another anthurium that I want to redo and repot. Next up is my alocasia dragon scale. I love this alocasia. This one was a tiny little plant that it still has two tiny little leaves left and it has a new growth since being in the cabinet which is really exciting. So this is actually a variegated dragon scale that I got, but it only had one variegated leaf and it died. So I'm hoping I can get more variegation or find a quorum maybe that has some variegation it will give me. So hopefully I can find some. I think I need to upsize him as well. This is my Philodendron Florida Ghost here. It has two leaves and it's working on another new leaf. And this guy I completely chopped back as well. I have sold a propagation and I have one that's still in my prop box, so cannot wait for this guy to grow back because he just got leggy and I didn't like the way the new growth was growing, so that's why I ended up chopping him back and I had sold a couple cuts as well. I have two more anthuriums. This is my anthurium fingers, and I'll put the other name on the screen. I always forget it. It looks like it might be working on something else there. We'll see, but this is the newest one it gave me. It's a little, it's a little odd shaped. And this is my Clarinervium that's been a little sad. It had more leaves than the two that are currently here. And again, I just think my Anthuriums haven't been happy, so I'm going to be repotting them all. This is my Monstera Stanleya Albo, Stanleyana Albo. This one was a one leaf propagation that original leaf died and it has given me all this growth here. So really exciting. This took like 15 months to grow and two months to actually root so this plant is very slow growing and then i have an alocasia or caladium high low beauty here and this guy actually did not go dormant i had this all winter in my old house in my old green greenhouse and so yeah it likes to keep three leaves at a time they're still pretty small but the variegation is beautiful on that one so i think that is it for this middle shelf here i really really like the look of this and I'm definitely going to be adding more plants and rearranging, but this is just what I have for now. This bottom shelf is a little bit smaller, so I'm keeping like mostly propagations, I think, down on this bottom level, and we'll see how, how they end up doing. So this here is my Philodendron Tenu. It has like an interesting leaf shape there, and it is working on a new growth point. This was a one leaf propagation. This is the original leaf. And this is my Monstera, variegated Monstera Peru. I had to chop this guy back, but it is working on new growth. It for some reason started browning and I thought it may have had root rot. So I ended up re-rooting or re-potting um, this plant. And I have a video on this guy too on my, on my channel. This is that begonia that I chopped that I showed you up top. So I'm gonna re-root this top half and repot him in together just to fill it out a bit more. And then that's my Jose Bueno there. It's working on another new leaf. Again, a lot of these plants were a single leaf propagation. So this is the original leaf and it has given me all that new growth, which is really exciting. I can't wait for that plant to take off and get bigger. So he probably won't be staying in this cabinet for too long, I imagine. This is a Syngonium Woodlandii and this one hasn't been happy either. So I had stuck him in my greenhouse a couple months before we moved here so I'm not sure why the new growth is unfurling like that I'll have to end up figuring what's going on with this guy but he's a little leggy as well so I might end up propagating this top piece here and rerooting this plant so we'll see and this little vessel is my plant that has not been doing well since the move this is my variegated Adansonii it had a lot more leaves that ended up just dying and it's giving me like white growth. So I don't really know what's going on with this plant. It's just, you know, hoping I can get some more green leaves, but this leaf is on its way out and the new growth, it has a tiny little bud in there. So I'm hoping to get some green, we'll see, but yeah, I'm just keeping, keeping him in this little cloche in the meantime, cause I'm trying to keep the humidity up, so. We'll see. I really hope that guy doesn't die because it's it was a pricey plant. Next up behind that, this is more of my Campo Sport Tawanum propagations that I cut off of that one plant. It just got too leggy, so I'm going to be putting this guy on a moss pole with the other cuttings. This here is a baby Florida ghost. This was actually a small 
cutting I took off of this one so this was in my prop box and I recently potted that one up together see this is something oh that's my philodendron campus sport tawanum so that's what these um, were I just this is the stick and so it should grow a new leaf from that node there we'll see and then these two plants here are philodendron splendids look at that new leaf that one's giving me this was a butt cut from a plant that I did for a giveaway and this was like a mid cut from them and it's working on a leaf so I'm gonna have a lot of philodendron splendids this guy is pretty rooted I could probably pop this into a chunky soil mix but I don't know which one there's two cuttings in here and I don't know which one I want to put on a moss pole so we'll see I might actually do the one that's just the the node there growing with that leaf I think that might be a good one to do on a pole so we'll see I'm not sure yet and then this Calathea White Fusion, the cats I think got a hold of this one. I had him in my cabinet for the longest time in my old greenhouse and it had all this white beautiful leaves and so I stuck him back in my greenhouse. I actually had him giving you a sneak peek with all my other Calatheas and Marantas over there. I had him on that bottom part of the shelf but the cat got a hold of him. So I stuck him back in the greenhouse. My cats don't really mess with my plants, but for some reason that one they just seem to go after. So I just stuck him in here for now, but we'll see. I'm probably going to end up changing, like I said, a lot of this setup. So this is the third shelf and I'm going to be again changing around this entire setup and repotting a bunch of these plants. So I'm definitely going to give you another tour when I get a lot of these plants kind of settled for spring and summer so I'm really excited to get a lot of my plant care and stuff done I'm just excited for new growth and what these plants are going to look like in a few months so yeah I'm really excited I hope you guys liked this little greenhouse tour let me back up so you can kind of see see the greenhouse again and let me close it I do have to turn my fans back on and I probably have to water some plants in here because I feel like some of them are thirsty again because I've not I have not had strong grow lights before so just the heat in here I think is drying some of these plants out faster so I definitely have to figure out my plant care for sure but so far I'm in love with the cabinet I love being able to see these plants and yeah I'm just really excited to finally have one so I highly recommend if you've been on the fence to get one I think it's totally worth it definitely the wire shelving and the fans I think are a must for airflow I really like the glass look that's why I left this back part you know I didn't put the pegboard all the way down on the bottom because I just think the glass is beautiful but the wire shells are definitely important for airflow for sure so yeah it looks so good so thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos and if you like this video give this a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed I would appreciate the support. And I plan on doing a room tour very soon and showing off my entire room and all the plants I have in here so look forward to that hopefully soon here in a couple weeks and yeah I'll talk to you guys later.